Hello. Brenda. Hello. Hola, hello. Hello, my name. Hello. How are you? Hello. I am fine, thank Brendita, sí que la estuvimos extrañando un montón. Así me estuvieron diciendo mis compañeros allá en, en el trabajo. Sí, yo les dije, me van a buscar a Brendita, les dije. Todos ¿Dónde? me fueron a buscar. ¿Dónde está Brenda? Les dije. Yo les dije, no los dejo entrar si no la traen. Ah. Pero ya estoy aquí. Tal, qué gusto. ¿Qué pasó, Brendita? No pude, Ticha, no pude. Mire, pero que me alegra que ella esté aquí. Sí, gracias. Qué bien. Hello, Brendita García, how are you? Hello, Mr. Ronald Ulises. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Well, it's a big pleasure to have you here in another week. Hey, this is our last week. Hmm. Why? Because on Wednesday we finish the module and then we start until the next week. Yeah, el miércoles es su, es su final de módulo y de ahí comenzamos hasta la siguiente semana, creo que hasta el 22 más o menos. Así que. Siempre va a estar a cargo de nosotros. Espera, eh, yo así estoy, mire. Sí, estoy cruzando los deditos. Para que me ¿Qué dejen hay que aquí. hacer para que eso suceda? <ríe> pues no sé, no, ellos lo deciden, ellos son los que, los que deciden las asignaciones. Ustedes pueden comentar, pues, si les ha parecido, si les ha gustado la clase y todo, pues, lo pueden comentar en la evaluación y ellos tal vez lo puedan tomar en cuenta. Así que, pero yo creo que, ojalá que sí, ojalá que sí se pueda. Yo estoy bien contenta. Con ustedes ahí. yo voy a aprender, pero con otros no. <ríe> Ay, oiga, qué lindos. Qué lindos. Ay, quiero ver que no me anden queriendo otros dichos. Mentir. Y usted no va a querer otro estudiante. No. Hello, no. teacher. Hello, hello. Yo les, les hago el chiste a, a los niños de, de la academia cuando les cambio maestro. ¿ve? Y están ahí de que, no, licenciado, ¿por qué no cambia el teacher? Que no se queda, que no se cuenta. Y bueno, yo les digo, ya se van a ir acostumbrando. Como a los dos, tres fines de semana con otro teacher. Gran amor, vea. Y le digo, ajá, que no, que no me cambie teacher, que no sé qué, que no, ay, no, teacher, hay que acostumbrarse a, lo, a los cambios. Uh -huh. Así que así, así me hacen siempre. Yo no soy bueno para los cambios. No, ni yo. <risa> a mí me gusta la secuencia, me gusta, me gusta este, tener como una secuencia de aprendizaje para que ustedes puedan ver los cambios, vea, de, de cómo han ido aprendiendo y todo eso. Pero ya vamos a ver, primero Dios. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to a new week. Welcome to new opportunities to learn. I am very happy to see Américo. Now I can see you in camera. Hoy no estás en camisa, vea. Que no decía que no nos ponía la cámara porque estaba ahí naked. Se me había arruinado el ventilado. Ah, mire, pues. Hello, Roxanita, Mr. Edwin. Be careful on the car. Oh, Alice, welcome. Carolina, Mr. Luis Barrilla, welcome. And Isabel, Rocío, and Marta Alicia that are connecting right now. Well, today, as I told you on the message, we are going to study a little bit on plurals, right? We are going to study a little bit on plurals. And when we talk about plurals, it is kind of tricky because we remember and we say, hey, these are the same rules for for the third person and no the rules are similar yes but the change is on the noun okay the plurals are nouns and the third person singular are verbs okay so we need to be very careful with that we need to be very very careful with that part of learning because the rules are the same but they are not applied for the same things okay Si se fijan, los cambios son los mismos en las, en las formas de las reglas, que los que terminan en CS, SS, X, se les hace cierto cambio, pero las reglas que les envié para cambios son para los nombres, porque los nombres son los únicos que se pueden contar o hacer 
plural. So we need to be very careful with that, okay? So um, that is going to be for the practice on the third person singular. So we are going to use that one later. And right now I am going to change this one. Let me just give me a second. I need to make it bigger, but I can't. So we're going to start with a short practice with uh, sentences. But I need to make this one a little bit bigger. Yes, excellent. With this one, we are going to practice reading, we are going to practice pronunciation, and we are going to practice a little bit of grammar, okay? So here we have different sentences. I think I have 15, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let me organize it a little bit so we can see all of them. So my dear students, how was your weekend? ¿Qué tal estuvo su fin de semana? Was it good, bad, so, so, boring? How was it? Excellent. It was excellent. Why? What makes it excellent? ¿Qué lo hace? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Por qué estuvo excelente? Uh -huh. Why was it excellent? ¿Por qué estuvo excelente? A ver, cuéntanos. I, I don't work. <laughs> I didn't work. You say, I didn't work. Uh, I didn't work. Okay. So that makes it very good. Definitely. When you don't work and when you have the chance to uh, rest at home, that is really, really good. Okay. So there we have. We're going to use the sentences that I have here to start our class. We are going to work with these ones. And I have different aspects and in the sentences. For example, the first sentence, how can you classify it? What, what type of sentence do we have there? Is it uh, with the verb to be? Is it simple present? Is it simple present in first person? Is it simple present in third person? What type of sentence is the first one? I play soccer every weekend. What type of sentence is that one? Is it simple present, third person, verb to be? Simple present. Simple present, right? Simple present, because what is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de la oración? I. I, right? And in this case, with I, you use a normal form of the verb. So in this case, you say, I play. You play, play what? Soccer. Soccer. When? When do you play soccer? Weekend. When? Every week. Cuando? Every weekend, right? You play soccer? Every weekend. Every weekend, right? That is the answer. So it's like, who? What is going to be the answer? Who in this case? Who are we talking about? I. I. Who is the doer of the action? I. What is my action? Play. Play, Play. soccer. When? Every, every, every weekend. weekend. What about number two? What type of sentence is that one? Simple present, también. simple present, first person, second person, third person, third person, third person, right? So say she, what she. does she do? What is her action? Works. She works. works, works as what? As a teacher, as a teacher, yeah. where? At the local school, at the local school. The local school. Is it any school? Is it any school? Cualquier escuela? Or is it in a specific the, school? In the local. At the local school, right? She is at the local school. Good. What about the next one? Can we read the next sentence? We eat breakfast together every morning. Who is the doer of the action? Who is doing the action? ¿Quién es el, el, el sujeto, la main star? 
We. We, right? We. What is the verb? It. It. It what? Breakfast. Breakfast. With whom? Con quien? Todo. Together. Together. Together, right? Together. ¿Y quién es together? ¿Y quién sería together en ese caso? We eat breakfast together. ¿A qué se refiere together en ese caso? ¿O quiénes son los, los participantes de ese together? Nosotros. ¿Quiénes son los juntos? Nosotros. ¿Quiénes están juntos? Nosotros. Nosotros. Ajá, pero en inglés. We. We, right? We. 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 Together is fixing it. It's helping we in this case. So we say we eat breakfast together. Right? Who is we? Right? Who is together? We are together. When? When does it happen? ¿Cuándo every sucede esto? Morning. Every morning, right? Every morning. Is it every Saturday, every Sunday? No, it's every, every morning. morning. Every morning, every day. He enjoys reading books in his free time. Who is the subject? He. He. Third person. Third person, very good. What is the action? Reading. Reading. reading, very good. Reading he book. enjoys reading books. Book. Right, reading books. Enjoys, we are working here because it's working with the verb, right? He enjoys reading books. When? In his free time. In his free time. In his free time. Does he read books all the time? Lee libros el todo el tiempo? Oh. When specifically? Free time. In his free mm -hmm. time, right? Not every day, not all the time, not in the morning. No, in his free time. Only in his free time. What about the next sentence that we have here? The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Who is the main actor of the sentence? The sun. The sun. The sun and what does the sun do? Rise. Rises, right? Rises is que sube, que se eleva. Rises in the east, in el este, and sets in the, in the west, in west, right? The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. In the west. Cats chase mice for fun. Who is the main actor of this sentence? Cats. Cats, right? And what do cats do? Chase. They chase what? Mice for fun. What is mice? What is mice? No me decir mice el que hago para las tortillas. No. Ratón. <laughs> no, but mice is not only one. Mice is? Ratón, ratona. Ratones, Ratones. Right? Mouse Ratones. es un problema, but mice es plaga. <laughs> so, you say cats chase mice for fun. Cats chase mice for fun. And it's not for fun. Mi suegra tiene cuatro gatos y ninguno casa. <laughs> so, they don't, they, don't even, they don't even do it for fun. Pero no, hay ratones. No, no, but if, if there is an animal, I mean, they don't do it. I mean, they don't touch it. But this one, this little cat that I have here, le voy a enseñar un gatito que tengo aquí. Yeah. <laughs> Ven aquí. Está un poco pesado. Este gatito que tengo aquí. Ven acá. Gatito. Este gatito. Look at this. Más grande que yo. <laughs> este gatito casa ratones, casa cucarachas de todo. So, <laughs> she is your classmate. Ella es su compañera de clases. She is in every single class. Aquí si ve un animal, un insecto, lo que sea. She is better than a cat. So, and she does it for fun. Ella sí se los come por diversión. <laughs> That's my little cat. Ese es mi gato, <laughs> mi gato perro. We use computers for various tasks. What is the subject of this sentence? 
we. We, we, right? And what do we do? Use computers. Yes, we use computers. computers to do what? For various, for, various tasks. for various tasks. Do you know what is the meaning of tasks? Tareas. Tareas. Excellent. We use computers for various tasks, right? She sings beautifully. Who sings beautifully? Who sings beautifully? Who sings beautifully? Huh? Who is doing this one? Who, who sings beautifully? Quien canta bonito? Who sings beautifully? She, right? She sings beautifully. What is the meaning of fully? Beautifully. What is beautifully? Hermosa. Beautifully is mente. La terminación li convierte en este caso a este adjetivo en adverbio y lo transforma con la terminación mente. Entonces no es bella, bella es bellamente. Right? And if I say, uh, it was uh, easily. Easily. Fácilmente. Quickly. Quickly. Rápidamente. Rápidamente, right? He often visits his grandparents on Sundays. Who visits his grandparents? Who visits his grandparents? Who? who, who? ¿Quién es who? ¿Quién, ¿Quién es el sujeto? Who? It's he, right? How uh, frequent does he do it? How frequent does he do it? How frequent? ¿Cuál es la frecuencia? How frequent? Often. Often, right? And what is often in this case? A menudo. Aha, but what is often? According to the sentence, ¿a qué se refiere often? On Sundays. ¿Qué tan seguido es? Ah, en los domingos, you say. So, this often, este seguido es cada domingo. How often? Ah, on Sundays. Who does he visit? My abuelo. Uh -huh. His grandparents, right? His grandparents. Parents. Grandparents. Parents, right? The next one. Can you help me to read the next one? The train. The train. Arrive. Arrive. At nine o'clock. Nine o'clock sharp. It means that it never changes, right? Aquí cuando usamos sharp, no hay opción que se pase un minuto. The train arrives at nine o'clock sharp. It's like, más en punto se arruina. Totally sharp. It's like en punto todo el tiempo. Nine o'clock sharp. What time does the train arrive? What time does the train arrive? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, right? Very good. The next sentence, what is it? They clean the house. They clean the house every Saturday. They clean the house every Saturday. What do they clean every Saturday? No, what, what do they clean? What do they clean? Every Saturday. Listen to the question. What do they clean every Saturday? The house. The house. Very good. What do they clean? Then if I say... Who cleans the house every Saturday? Hey. They, right? Hey. What do they do every Saturday? Clean what the do they do every the Saturday? House. Clean the house, right? House. Clean the house. The next one. We study English at school. What do we study? What do we study? Hey. Hey. English, right? English. English. Cada vez que decimos English, ¿qué pasa? Se muere un minisopena. 
We study English. 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 Imagínense que le preguntan, ¿qué estás estudiando? English. No, ahí mismo me corto, me corto la vena con un cuchillo plástico. Para que me duela. English. English. We study English, English at school. At school, right? We study English at school. The next one. The company manufactures, manufactures, so amiga manufactured volvió a aparecer, high quality products. The company manufactures high quality products. What does the company manufacture? High quality products. High quality products. Who produces high quality products? The company. The company. Very good, very good. What is the quality of the products? No, what is the quality? The quality is? High. Quality. High. The quality is high. The last sentence. Aquí los tengo así como que me va a preguntar, que me va a preguntar. Dogs bark to communicate with humans. Dogs bark to communicate with humans. What is the meaning of bark? Ladrar. Ladrar, right? Dogs bark to communicate with humans. Bark, in this case, is the action. Bark. Why do the dogs bark? Why? No, why? Why do the dogs bark? Communicate. Communicate. With whom? Because. Dogs bark to communicate with humans. Human. 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 Humans. Very good job. Okay. Sentences. Of where I'm going to divide the sentences into different forms. Can, let me just see. Y Kiara haciendo un ejemplo ahí al fondo. Okay. I am going to ask to divide the sentences into groups. Ay, I move it too much. La moví mucho. There we go. Here. Okay. So I am going to divide this one into groups of three sentences, okay? I have here another color. I am going to choose pink, okay? And we're going to practice reading a little bit, right? Okay. We go here. I am going to change this color. And we're going to practice a little bit of reading, okay? We have three. And the last one is going to have only two. Okay. So I am going to start with uh, Mr. Americo. Can you read the first three sentences, please? <clears throat> The first three. The first three sentences. Read the first three sentences. Yeah. Okay, okay. Lea. Yes, please. Las primeras tres. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anda en la nube ahorita. Yeah, yeah. Por eso no me enamoro yo, ya ven. <laughs> no, yo no, no es por eso. Ay, ay, ay. ay. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. The first three. Uh, the green ones. Uh, play soccer every weekend. Mm -hmm. She works as a teacher at the local school. Okay. We had breakfast together every morning. Okay, um, corrections, people. ¿Qué podemos corregir de América? 
Sin pena, que todos nos ayudamos. Uh -huh. Él también lo va a corregir a ustedes, don't worry. We eat. We eat, we eat right? We eat. We eat breakfast, what? Together. Together, right? We eat breakfast together. Every morning. Okay, Américo, repeat the third one. Repetir la tercera. We eat breakfast together every morning. We eat breakfast together every morning. Okay, now we are going to read it normally. Ahora las vamos a leer normales. I play soccer every weekend. She works as a teacher at the local school. We eat breakfast together every morning. Vamos, Américo. I play soccer every weekend. She works as a teacher at local school. We eat breakfast together every morning. We eat. Eat. Very good. We eat breakfast together every morning. Okay, Américo. ¿Quién va a leer la siguiente? Ay, me la desquito ahí. Brenda. Brenda García. Choose one. Only one. Huh. Five, four, three, I did, I did, I did. two. Idea, idea, idea. Vamos, idea. Tarita, tarita. He enjoys reading books in his free time. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Cats chasing mice for fun. Good. ¿Qué podemos corregir de idea? Veamos. Ayudémonos. Ah, nada. He enjoys reading books in his free time. The sun rises in the east, east, and sets in the west. Okay, cats chase mice for fun was very good. Vamos a de nuevo. He enjoys reading books in his free time. Reading. The sun Reading. He enjoys reading. Reading. Uh, reading. Okay, vamos otra vez. He enjoys reading books yeah. in his free time. Number the sun rises in the eggs and sets in the west. The next one. Cat chase my mice for mice, fun. Mice. mice for fun. For fun. Okay. Ahí there. Who's next? Can see. Um, eh, uh, um, que más serio, que más serio. Edwin, 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 ven el carro. Quiero ver, no, no quiero ver. Um, Edwin, Edwin, creo que ahorita se están conectando y ven el carro. Uh, ah, al que esté más serio, al que esté más serio. Norma, Norma, <ríe> Norma. <ríe> Normita, vamos. We use we use computers for various tasks. Very good. Various, various. She signs beautiful. He often visits his grandfather on Sunday. Okay. Corrections. ¿Qué correcciones le podemos hacer a Normita? Sings. sings, right? She sings beautifully. Beautifully. Siguiente. Grand, grand, uh -huh. grand parents. Sorry. Grandparents, right? Grandparents. So we say we use computers for various tasks. She sings beautifully. He often visits his grandparents on Sundays. Vamos, Normita. Use computers for various tasks. Very good. She sings. She sings. She sings. She sings, she sings beautifully. 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 She often visits his Grandparents on Grandparents, Sundays. Grandparents, 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 grandparents on Sundays. Good, on very Sundays. good. Evelyn, continue. The train arrives at night o'clock sharp. 
Good. They clean the house every Saturday. We study English at the school. Excellent. Arrives. That's the only one. Arrives. But that was very Arrive. good. Arrives. The train arrives at nine o'clock sharp. Can you repeat the first one, please? The train arrives at nine o'clock sharp. Very good job. And the last one, Luis Parrilla, please. Luis Parrilla, vamos. The last one. The company. Ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. The company is manu Manufactures. Manufactures high quality products. Very good. Dogs bar to communicate. 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 Why human? With. With. With human. With humans. Humans. With humans. Okay, Dog let me. Uh huh. Human. Dog bar dogs bark to communicate with humans. with humans. Okay, dogs bark to communicate with humans. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and I need to see all the cameras. I cannot see Marta Alicia, Odalis, and Brenda Garcia. No la veo, no la veo, no la veo. Marta Alicia no la veo, Odalis tampoco, ni Brenda. Necesito sus cámaras. Thank you very much. Odalis, Edwincito, ya se está conectando. Thank you. And Brenda Garcia. No la veo. Thank you. Bueno, quizás si Brenda está, está en el hospital ahora. Ahí está, no, ya la vimos, ya la vimos. Ah, pues no, está en casa. The last one to draw a cat is going to read all the sentences. El último que dibuje un gato en su cuaderno y lo muestra en cámara. Va a leer todas las oraciones. Vamos, 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 vamos. El último que muestre un gato en cámara. Púrese, púrese, púrese. Dibuja un gato en su cuaderno. El último le tocan todas las oraciones. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Allí en su cuaderno, en su cuaderno. Dibuje un gato. Si no lee todas las oraciones. Vamos, vamos, vamos. El último. Muéstralo en la cámara. Póngalo bien. Ok. Marta Alicia. Póngalo cerquita de la cámara. Ok. Isabel. Good, good, good. Ahí déjelo. Si no lo está mostrando, usted le va a tocar. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Evelyn, very good. Ahí póngalo, póngalo. Vamos a ver que lo muestra el último. No, vamos, vamos. Tres, dos, uno. Brenda García. Brenda y Edwin estamos. Entre Brenda García y Edwin. Muéstralo, muéstralo, muéstralo. Américo, where is your cat? Aquí está mi gato. Américo, where is your cat? Luis, ¿dónde está su gato? Ok. Américo, you were the last one. Américo fue el último en mostrar su gato en pantalla. Okay, look at that, look at that cat's competition, oh my God. Ahí está I mi gato, ahí está mi gato. Look at that. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. go. No, no fue el último, no fue el último. <laughs> Quería ver si de verdad estaba poniendo atención. Mm. No, that was good, that was good. Everybody, go with me. I play soccer every weekend. <clears throat> I play, I play soccer, soccer every weekend. Every weekend. She works as a teacher it. at a local school. She, she works work as a teacher at a local school. Ok, lo que quiero practicar con este ejercicio es que ustedes de veras pronuncien las palabras correctamente. Por ejemplo, works termina con S, right? Works as a teacher at the local school. Ok, que no agreguemos ni quitemos ni nos comamos. We eat breakfast together every morning. We eat breakfast together every morning. He enjoys reading books in his free time. He enjoys reading books in his free time. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Cats chase mice for fun. Okay. Okay. We use computers for various tasks. We use she sings beautifully. She sings beautifully. He often visits his grandparents on Sundays. He often visits his grandparents on Sunday. The train arrives at nine o'clock sharp. 
The train. The train. The train, no, the train. The they train. they All clean right. the house every Saturday. They, they clean the house, the house every Saturday. Saturday. We study English at school. We study, study English, English at school. school. The company manufactures high quality products. The company manufactures high quality products. Dogs bark to communicate with humans. Dogs bark to communicate with humans. with humans. So that is something very important, people, that you need to remember. Every letter is important, right? In some cases, they are omitted. But the third person, for example, and the plurals, you need to mark the difference. That is really necessary not to read just like, Nah, yeah, teacher, it's just like that. No, don't eat the letters. No se coman las letras. En los plurales, en las terceras personas, they are very important, okay? I am going to continue sharing my screen here. Here we go. In the last class, we were talking about what? Que fue nuestro main topic en la última clase? Places in town, right? We were talking about places in town. And we were talking about places around the city, right? We created a big list of places in town. And we are going to continue working a little bit on that one. And we're going to focus a little bit on prepositions, right? We're going to focus a little bit on prepositions. But what are the prepositions, people? What do prepositions work for? Para que nos sirven las preposiciones? to tell me where something is located, right? We have different prepositions and I want you to find something. Si tienen una, un vaso, una taza por ahí, agarrenlo, lo vamos a ocupar. Tráeme un vaso. Ok, tráeme un vaso. Un vaso, una taza, un vacío, ¿verdad? no lo van a dar con cafecito porque no vamos a destrar. Tráeme un vaso, amor. una taza. Okay, okay, I need I need you to show me your, your show me your container. Okay, and I need you to get another object that you can put inside. Busquen un objeto que puedan meter adentro. For sure that it's going to be smaller than the, the cup, the container. Okay, I have one object inside. Okay, do you have it? Esto ver el celular. <laughs> okay, Griselda, where is your cup? ¿Dónde está su vaso? ¿Dónde está su container? Evelyn, where is it? Very good. And the cup is su, su, su contenedor, su vasito. Okay, so right now, as you can see here, and let me just make this one bigger for everybody. <laughs> el rincón todavía el pan lo está entrando, qué valor. <laughs> okay, so here you have it, right? I have a container right here. And in the container, I have an eraser. So the eraser right now is in the container, right? It's in. In, in significa dentro. Dentro, dentro de. It's in. Dentro. If I take the eraser and I put it on the side of the container, is on the container. On. Okay, this is on the container. On. So we have in and on. Um, if I take this one and I put it here, it's in front of the container. This is in front of. Está en frente de. It's in front of. But if I take this one here, it's behind the container. It's behind. ¿Qué significa behind? Sería atrás, atrás de. Atrás. If I take this one and I put it right here, is next, 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 next to, next to. Okay, so, ahorita hemos practicado okay. varias. Pongámoslo todos in, ay, <laughs> sorry. In, in, agarre su objeto y póngalo in. In. Now it's on. 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 <clears throat> póngalo in front of. In front of. Now, behind. 
behind. No. Behind. 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 Next to. Next to. Okay. Next to. Under. 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 Okay. And let me get another object. And I will take it like this. Between. Between. ¿Qué significa between? En medio. Entre. En medio. Entre. 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 Right? Medio. Between. Entre. <laughs> Tengan cuidado. No vaya a llegar alguien a su casa y le diga, between, between. No. Right? <laughs> Entre dos objetos. <laughs> it's between two objects, right? En medio de. O en el medio de. Right? You have between. Okay, good. So, everybody, let me just take this. Put your object in. In. On. In. Um, in front of. In front of. Behind. Behind. Next to. Next, Next to. to. Under. 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 Between. Between. en medio de algo más ahí, entre su mano y el vaso. Okay, now, only you. In front of. Show me the object and put it in front of. Ah, muestra la cámara ahí. In front of. In. In. On. On, on, ¿cuál era? On, on, right? en el objeto, on. Behind, behind. behind. <laughs> así no, no me quiero atarantar, así, uh, no, behind, it's right here. Behind. Si le hago así, no se va a fijar la teacher. <laughs> behind. Between. Between, maybe. between, under, between. Under. Under. Um, under, next to, next to, next to, okay, good, now, in, on, in front of, behind, over, between, <laughs> under, go ahead, in, <laughs> Okay, so those are the prepositions of place, the prepositions of place. Now, if you have your cup in the morning and you say like, ah, the cup is in my hands, right? The coffee is in the cup. The coffee the is cup. in the cup, right? I am behind the cup. Right detrás de la, de la taza. So I am going to show you a picture. Le voy a mostrar una foto de un mapa. In this one, we have on, another one that we can use is on the corner of, en esquina de, on the corner of, está en esquina, right? Across from es al cruzarse la calle, okay? These are other sentences. Next to es a la par, and between, en medio de, dos lugares. So these ones are others. On the corner of significa en la esquina de. Across from, al cruzarme la calle. So if I show you this picture, let me show you the picture here. I have here, what is, what is next to the Chinese restaurant? What is next to the Chinese restaurant? ¿Dónde está el Chinese Yo no restaurant? Yo no lo veo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. The bank. The bank. Mm -hmm. Next to the Chinese to restaurant. The What is next, next to the Chinese restaurant? En medio from. No, pero medio. listen to the question. What is next to? What is next to? Book the store. Bank. Book the store. bookstore book and the bank. bank. So the Chinese bank. restaurant is between between between, between what? Bank, between. bank, 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 bank store. Exactly like that. Let me write that sentence, right? I am going to write it right here. Uy, qué grandota la letra. 
Let's make it. This is more than that. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yo gritándole aquí. <laughs> Le prende el letra. Okay. So we have the Chinese Calle. restaurant Calle. is between between the bookstore and the bank. Right? The Chinese restaurant is between the bookstore and the bank. And there we have it, right? The Chinese restaurant is between the bookstore and the bank. There you go. The Chinese restaurant is between the bookstore and the bank. Now we cannot see it at all. Okay, wait. Where is the movie theater? The movie theater. Next to? Next to what? Yes. Next, Next to parking, parking lot. lot. Next to parking lot. Next to parking lot. Very good. But here, let me just send it on the chat. Se lo voy a enviar al chat para que lo podamos analizar. Porque ahí sí lo pueden ver todos. The movie theater. Cuando nos referimos a un lugar en general, siempre decimos da. The movie theater. Y siempre va el verbo to be. The movie theater is. Y de este, después ponemos la preposición de lugar. Next to. The eh, parking lot. Y en el otro va igual. The. the movie theater is next to the parking lot. Where is the music store? Where is the music store? Music store is between. Uh -huh. ah, between, the, between. Music I, store. I, between. Um, yes, the music store the music, between a new bank and um, bank. By bank, bank. right? The, the music store is between the music store is between the newsstand and the bank okay that is the complete form of the sentence right and i'm going to write it for you the music store the music store is between, between is between, between. the newsstand stand, new stand and bank and the bank right and the bank and the bank there you go the music store is between the newsstand and the bank. Ese orden que ponemos, lo que le ponemos a las oraciones y cómo las ordenamos nos va a servir para que hagamos una oración totalmente correcta. The music store is between the newsstand and the bank. Si les digo, where is the swimming pool? Where is the swimming pool? Vamos a behind. ¿Cómo es behind? Behind es así como se lo ponen en el chat. Behind. Where is the swimming pool? The swimming pool is behind the grocery store. The swimming pool is behind? Grocery store. The grocery store. ¿En qué otra, en qué otro lo podemos ocupar? The swimming pool is behind? Next, next to the drug swimming store. Pool? Okay, the swimming pool is behind the drugstore or the swimming pool is next to. Ahí podemos next ocupar ambas, right? Uh, okay. We can use, can, can I have one volunteer to send it on the chat? ¿Puede un voluntario enviarme la chat? The swimming pool is behind the grocery store. Yes. Okay. I need one person to send it on the chat, please. Where is the restaurant, the Italian restaurant? Where is the Italian restaurant? Where is the, the Italian? Italian restaurant between travel agents, ports of... No, the Italian yes. restaurant on the corner of... On the corner, corner of. Huh? So you say the Italian restaurant is on the corner of. Yeah, you don't get it. In this one, we use the streets. We use the streets for this one. 
So in this one, what streets do we have there? ¿Qué calles son los que tenemos ahí? Main Street, Davis Street, Street Davis. Maple Street. Main. On the corner of Main, Main Street uh -huh. and David Street. Main Street and David's and David Street. And I'm going to send it on the chat. Ahí se los envío al chat. The Italian restaurant is on the corner of Main Street and David Street. Está en la esquina de esas dos calles. On the corner of Main Street and David Street. Where, where is the park? And in the park, we are going to use across from. Where is the park? Y vamos a usar across from, al cruzarnos de. Where is the park? Wow. The park is across from across from the swimming pool and across from the bookstore. The bookstore and on the corner of main main street, main street. and and. En Maple, 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 Maple Street. Yeah, it is like kind of shocking at the beginning, right? Al principio no dice así como, hey, teacher, hey, 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 tranquila, vea. But later on, when you say like, ah, now I get it, right? We have to be very visual. We have to be very visual to find ourselves in the map. So Maple. let's let's work about the news stand. What about the news stand? It's this one, the news stand. Where is the news stand? Dime todas las opciones posibles. Across from. Across from. Across from what? The movie theater. Across from the movie theater. Next to? Music store. The music store on what street? On? David Street. On David Street. Right? So there you have the different options. I know this one is like kind of what? Kind of difficult, kind of complicated, but it's not impossible. Let me see here. I am going to make the sentence here. I am going to add one text box here. I am going to use the news stand, okay? The news stand, the news stand is next to the music store yeah. is next to the music store yeah. on David Street. Yeah. On David Street across from the movie here. Okay. That is the definition of this one, right? Let me make this one bigger and I will make it longer, don't worry. Okay, I will fix it, don't worry. So here we have one definition, right? The newsstand is next to the music store on David Street across from the movie theater, right? That is one definition that I have. The newsstand, y la tenemos aquí, the newsstand is next to the music store on David Street, across from the movie theater. Okay, so that is my definition. Esa es una de mis definiciones. I need you to choose one place. Escojan un lugar. Y denme lo más exacto posible donde está ubicado. We can use different prepositions of place. Yes, we can use different prepositions of place like in front of, next to, behind, across from, on the corner of, uh, between, and let me see another one that we can use. Um, 
No, I think we can use those. On the corner of, on, y decimos en qué calle está. And I think it's just, those are the ones that you can use, okay? So there you go, my dear students. Choose one. Choose one place. Escojan un lugar. Y denme la definición más exacta posible que pueda. So there you go. Those are the ones that you are going to use. The first one is my example. The Take your time, don't worry, take your time. <laughs> Cuando la tengan, escríbanla en el chat para que la podamos corregir, ya sea en el de WhatsApp o en el de Zoom. Así la podemos corregir. Once you have it, send it on the chat, please. <clears throat> Send it to me, send it to me. You remember to send it on the chat. Let me know, or in WhatsApp. If you want to send it on WhatsApp, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, I have two already. Very good. I have two sentences. Three. Ha. ¿Qué es lo que nos pasa siempre? Next to, siempre nos comemos la T en next. Next to. Uh -huh. ah, rapidito cayó el dueño del next to el next to mordido el error yes no but that that's why that's why I I always say send it on the chat so I can actually uh, check it okay we're going to check them all in a moment okay continue sending them don't worry 
En lo que las terminan de enviar, voy a pasar lista. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Astrid Abigail. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Aide Lisania. Present. Thank you. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. Present. Selina Janet. Present. Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina. Present. Thank you. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Isabel Rocío. Isabelita. Por ahí está Isabelita. ¿Qué se me hizo? Mr. José. Luis Américo. Presente. Thank you. Luis Humberto. Presente. Marta Alicia. Present teacher, aquí estoy. Norma Yamilet. Present. Dalí Marisol. O oh, Dalí Marisol. Ronda Lulises. Present. Thank you. Roxana de Jesús. Present. En Yolanda Beatriz. Ay, Yolandita. Un día la vi. Okay. Good. Very good job. So, let's read the sentences that you just sent. Right, vean lo que nos acaban de enviar ustedes. Let's go back here and I'm going to open the chat and I'm going to read everybody's sentences, okay? So, let me just see here. We were sharing this one. So, let's go here. I am going to go to the chat in Zoom and I have different sentences. The first one that I have here is, uh, the post office is next to, right? Remember that in this case, we have next to. Next to the Italian restaurant. This is la de Evelyn Garcia. Next to the Italian restaurant. Okay, aquí tenemos que agregarle siempre de Italian restaurant. Si el, el restaurante tuviera un nombre propio, ahí no le ponemos da. Pero si no tienen y solo es Mexican restaurant, Italian restaurant, decimos de Italian restaurant. Imagínense que aquí tuviéramos el ejemplo y tuviéramos Pizza Hut. In this case, you say, eh, the grocery store is next to Pizza Hut. In this case, you don't say next to the Pizza Hut. Porque ahí es como el error que tenemos en buen salvadoreño. La teacher Nati decimos. El Luis. La idea decimos. And that's not correct. So when you have a general name, you say the, the bank, the park, the movies, etc. But if you have a proper name, imagínense que ahí estuviera un Dollar City. So you say, the bank is next to Dollar City. Just that. No de Dollar City. El dólar decimos. So that's a very common mistake in English. The parking lot, oh, sorry, the bank is next to, Ronald Ulises, next <laughs> to. That's a, a very common thing. The Chinese restaurant, Chinese por ser una nacionalidad siempre va con mayúscula. The Chinese restaurant on Maple Street across from the grocery store. Very good. Al final de la oración, punto. The parking lot, la, vamos con la de Roxana de Jesús. The parking lot. Al principio de la oración, mayúscula siempre. The parking lot. Okay. The parking lot is next to the grocery store. Punto al final siempre recuerden. Luis Parrilla. The music stores. Ahí ya me la hizo plural. The music stores. Si le pone S, es porque hay más de una music store. Okay. The music store is between the newsstand and the bank. Okay, y esa S no sería mayúscula. The music store is in front of the movie theater. Okay, movie theater tampoco irían con mayúsculas porque no estamos hablando de nombres propios. Okay, but the sentence is okay. En la primera solo le borras la S a stores. 
the music store is. Porque si fueran dos, por ejemplo, the music stores are. Porque estás hablando de las dos. In this case, it is because it's singular. The post office is on the main street. Ahí vamos, vea. The main street. Main street es el nombre propio. On main street. The post office is on main street. Next to the Italian restaurant. Brenda Elisa. Next to the Italian restaurant. Okay. So in that case, we need to be very careful with that. It's next to the Italian restaurant. The post office is on Main Street. Main Street. Next to the Italian restaurant. Next to the Italian restaurant. Y al final, punto para terminar la oración. The bank in a corner. Marta Alicia. ¿Cómo corregimos esa? The bank is on the corner. Y si decimos on the corner, ¿cuál corner? Tenemos que especificar. Where is the bank? The bank is on the corner. Después del sujeto tenemos un verbo aquí. The bank is on the corner. ¿En qué esquina está el banco, chicos? Ayúdenme. The bank is on the corner of... They on the corner of David's Street. David's Street and Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Very good. The bank is on the corner of David Street and Main Street. Where is the grocery store? Okay, si hacemos la pregunta, Edwin, siempre eh, la inicial mayúscula. Where? Where is a grocery store? Where is the grocery store? Okay, where is the grocery store? And on the answer, you say the grocery store, the grocery store is, y aquí la primera es mayúscula, the grocery, grocery no, ya lleva mayúscula, the grocery store is next to the public restroom. Okay, that's the answer. The grocery store is behind. Behind con Debea. Griselda, behind. The grocery store is behind the swimming pool. Here we go. Let me correct this one. Ahí pueden ir viendo en el chat las correcciones que le voy haciendo cada una de las, de las oraciones. The grocery store is behind the swimming pool on David Street across from the Italian restaurant and the travel agent, right? Very good sentence, Griselda. The park is in front of the street and across from the bus stop. Okay, Brenda Garcia, vamos a corregir esta. Here we have the park, y aquí siempre mayúscula al principio, the park is in front of, ¿cuál es el nombre de la, de la calle? The park is in front of, Y si decimos in front of, in front of, sorry, es enfrente de o enfrente a. So you say in front of what? Oh, yes. Maple. Maple Street. In front of Maple Street. Maple, of Maple Street and across from Maple. the bus stop. Across from the bus stop. Pero aquí no tendríamos que usar in front of. En este caso sería the park is on Maple Street. Okay, across from the bus stop. Okay. Let's go with the next one. The parking lot is next to... Américo también se comió la T de next to. The parking lot is... Okay. Ahí, ahí los pueden ir revisando en el chat sus propias correcciones. The parking lot is next to the grocery store in front of the drugstore. Very good. There you go. Let's go with the next one. The bank is on Playphone. ¿Qué es eso? The bank is on Playphone. Casasa. The bank is... I sería... I sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. No movie. No, it's this one. The bank is 
I think it's behind or next to the payphone. No, no, next to. I think it's next to. This one. Okay, or the payphone is in front of the bank, you can say. Let me continue fixing here. Hey. Uy, me perdí. The parking lot is next to the grocery store in front of the drugstore. Very good one. Very good one. So, um, let me continue. Chan, chan, chan. The park is in front of the street across from the bus stop. Okay, the bank in a corner. Ya lo corregimos. So, there you go. Do I have more chats to answer? Lavalo. Put it in the sink, across from the kitchen. There you have the examples. We just need to organize the sentence, right? We need to organize the sentences in a very good way. If you organize the sentence, it's going to be easier for you to make the idea of the sentence. Here we have more places, more examples. Where is the city bank? On which street is the city bank located, people? On which street is the city bank located? I don't understand. <laughs> the city bank. Oh. On which street uh, is it located? Uh, we, we, between. 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 The department uh, store? In the main store, main street. Okay, the question is, on which street is the city bank located? En cual calle está el banco ubicado? On which street is the city bank located? The city bank is located on? Main street. Main, main, street. main street. street. Si yo le digo, where is the bank? Ahí sí me ubica. Where is the bank? Ah, teacher, the bank is on Main Street between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Okay. The bank is located between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Tell me one thing that it's on the city. Para decirme. ¿Qué lugares hay en la ciudad ocupamos de y enterar? Así como estuvimos haciéndolo en las clases pasadas. Que me decían, ah, teacher, there is a movie theater. There is a drugstore. There is a hospital. What else do we have on the map? ¿Qué más tenemos en el mapa? There is what? There is a movie theater. There is a movie theater. There is supermarket. There is a supermarket. There is English corporative. There is English corporative. Now this is my example. We can put it. Let me see. There is a post office. There is a post office. No, this is a hospital. Aquí vamos a dejar English corporative here. There is a hospital. There is a drugstore. There is a drugstore. Uh huh. Parqueo. There is a parking. Parking. That's the station. There is a gas station. Good. There is a park. There is a favorite shoes. Ah, what? How does it call that? A favorite shoes. How does it call that tienda? There is a shoe shop. Shoe shop. Shoe shop. There is a restaurant. There is a theater. There is How, a coffee shop. A coffee shop. A coffee shop. shop. Good. How many restaurants do we have? How many restaurants do we have? There are how many? How many restaurants do we have? Uh, uh, three. 
the how many restaurants there is one there is only one right there is only one there is only one how many supermarkets do we have there is only one there is only one. one. There is one supermarket. How many? Let me see. How many restaurants do we have in this one? How many restaurants do we have? Did it twice. There are. There are. There are two. Twice. Restaurants. There are. One, two. Two there are, or there twice. Are two. <laughs> twice is dos veces. Ah, I do. Right? If you say twice a week, dos veces a la semana. Pero en este caso solo tenemos el número two. redondo. There are two, two. two. restaurants. There are there two are restaurants. Two. There are two restaurants. How many? How many cars? How many cars are in the picture? How many cars? Are in the there picture. Are <laughs> there are many. You say there are many. How many cars are in the parking lot? Mm, parking. Los otros there cinco. Are, there no, are, only, only in the parking. Okay, lot. There are many. Twenty. Twenty-four. <laughs> there are twenty-four. Twenty-four. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty. And in the parking lot. Solo nine. in the parking lot. Que les marqué. Nine. 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 There are nine. nine. There are nine, no, only in, only in the parking lot. Aquí hay nueve, aquí hay otros, aquí oh. hay más. Nine, <laughs> nine, many. It's, uh, there are many nine cars. Car. Nine cars. <laughs> there are nine. Are, there, are nine there, is, there is nine cars. Twenty-six. Twenty-six cars. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. We have two more 26. here. Twenty-six. Mm. <laughs> 26 cars. Well, see. so let's go to the practice here. I go, where? Where is the other teacher? Let's go here on the practice. Let's go back here. Here we have a couple of sentences, right? And in this one, it says, how are we going to complete these sentences? Let me move it a little bit. Oh my God. Here. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's the shoe store. The coffee shop. It's right here. The coffee shop is the aquí en este Imagínate. Gran poder. The coffee shop is right here. It's next to what? the shoe store, oh. next to the shoe store. So how are we going to complete the sentence here? Let me move on here, Ash. Esta cosa está re, no entiendo. No quiere jugar conmigo. Okay, so here we go. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's next to, yeah. next to, It's next to the shoe store. It's right here. Okay. The movie theater is on the corner of. Is on the corner of. Let me mark the text here. It's on the corner of. I see Natalie. She's typing. Sorry. Letra blanca está poniendo. Yeah, es que no le había cambiado color. On the corner of. Ya me van a regresar mi dicho. Por eso no me enamoré. Ya ven. Mm -hmm. It's on the leo. corner of. <laughs> It's on the corner of. And there we go. Park in Maine. It's. <laughs> we have next to. It's next to the park. It's next to the park. Yo les voy a enviar esa foto para que la vean con más detalle. It's Chicas, next si no to... Chicas, si no es foto, teacher. Sí, es que está muy chiquitilla. Está muy chiquitilla, mi fotilla. 
Let me just make it here. But here is the movie theater. It's next to the park. Next the gas park. station. The gas station is. Si tenemos que cruzar la calle, ¿cómo le decimos? Across, across from. The gas station is across from the parking lot. Is. Está en la esquina de. It's on the corner of. It's on the corner of First Avenue. It's on the corner of First Avenue it's on center. and Center. It's on the corner of First and Center. The post office. The post office is right here. The post office is right here. Okay. The post office is it's next to. Me <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah, the park. From the park. Across okay. from the park. Across from the park. Si nos tenemos que cruzar una calle, recuerda que es across from. Across from. Okay. The mall is on First Avenue. Across from. Across from the park. The park. Very good. Where is the school? Y ocupemos on the corner of. Is a second avenue on Barrio Street. The school is on the corner. On the corner of, of second. Second avenue and Barrio Street. In Barrio Street, right? The school is. The school is. On the corner of Second Avenue and Barrios Street. Okay, I know this topic it's kind of complicated, but once you focus on the place and organize the proper preposition of place, it's not that bad. Where is the restaurant? Ocupemos on the corner of. The restaurant is on the corner of. Uh, on the corner of, you say First Avenue, Roosevelt Street, uh, and Roosevelt Street. And there you have Roosevelt, the double O, Roosevelt. The corner Street. The restaurant is on the corner of First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Okay. Very well. You have to focus yourself. Tienen que ubicarse bien con las preposiciones y no olvidar ninguna de las partes de la oración. El primer lugar, el verbo to be, la preposición y el complemento de la oración. El lugar, el verbo to be, la preposición y el siguiente lugar. Si ocupan la calle es on Second Avenue on Roosevelt Street. Okay. So. Good examples, my dear students. Very good examples. This is what we were doing with at, in, and on. We did that one already. And what we were practicing, there is and there are. We're going to go here. Just for you to relax a little bit. Lo puedo relajar un poquito con la conversation. Sé que los he bombardeado con un montón de cosas ahora. Hello, can you help me? Where is Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I don't know it. I don't know. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you there. Thank you again. Bye bye. The use of there is and there are. What we were doing a couple of minutes before. There are four buildings. Se fijan, aquí tenemos are, porque aquí tenemos un plural, four buildings. There are a lot of training centers, plural, right? Is there a training center? This is singular, right? If I take you back on the map here, si me lo llevo al mapa de regreso, ¿qué oración me podrían dar usando there is? There is a mall. There is a mall. Good. There is a bank. There is a bank. There is a restaurant. There is a restaurant. There is a book work. There is a book world, a library. Uh -huh. There is a school. There is a school. school. There is a church. There is a church and there is a park. Okay. So in the conversation, in the conversation, the person had it and it says, there are four buildings, right? Which one do you need? There are a lot of training centers, right? On the place. If you think about your house, si ustedes piensan ahí cerca de su casa, ¿qué lugares tienen más de uno? There are what? For example, near near my house, there are four restaurants. There are two rivers. There are three shops. 
there are three shops. There are water. There are there are five pupusas places. There are five pupusas places, huh? Se da gusto ir cogiendo. There are five church, you say. There are clinics. There are clinics. How many? ¿Cuántas clínicas hay? Three. three clinics, right? There are three clinics. What else? Este, no sé cómo se dice la nacional, la clínica, la, la, la del gobierno, la nacional, un, una clínica de dientes y una clínica de... de un ok. No there are, in that case, you can say there are different clinics, right? Different the national clinics, clinics, the dentist, the hospital, or whatever. Mm. Do you have tortillas places mm. near your house? <laughs> yes? Uh, yes. How many? Five. Five. Okay, so ahí no nos morimos por tortillas. Okay, so <laughs> that is the example. That is the difference between there is and there are. In the case there of there are, is... There are three bakery. There are three bakeries, right? Bakeries. Bakeries. Bakery. There are three bakeries. Good. There are three bakeries. What else? There are two schools. Two schools. Very good. What else do you have in in like in big number? There are two parts. There are two parks, right? There are two parks. Very good. So. There are, there are, there are three churches. There are three churches, right? There are three churches. Churches. There are two rivers. There are two rivers. How beautiful. I don't have any river here. Oh, yeah. There is one in San Miguelito Market. I think there is, a, there is a river here. Uh, so there, there are many. There are many butcher, butcher shop, shop. Uh, butcher shops, carnicerias. Butcher shops. Good. Very good. There are many butcher shops. In this one, I have an exercise here for the reason. There are as you can see here, on the example of there is, we have three sentences. ¿Cuáles son las tres oraciones que tenemos para there is? There is an ATM across the street. What is the meaning of ATM? ¿Qué significa un ATM? Tajero automático. Tajero automático, very good. There is an ATM across the street. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. What is a recruitment center? De reclutamiento, no sé. Un centro de reclutamiento. Lo podemos ocupar para oficinas, para call centers, para oficinas de trabajo. Un centro de reclutamiento donde vas a hacer las entrevistas, donde te reclutan o te llaman para un trabajo específico. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. This is with singular things. With plurals. What is the first example of plurals? There are a lot of companies down the street. Down the there are a lot of companies. Si se fijan, en este caso, yeah. companies, it's plural, right? Companies. There are a lot of companies. The next one, there are some. There are Super. some supermarkets. Supermarkets. Yes. On the right and the left side on the street. There are no. There are no hospitals. There are no hospitals. There are no hospitals. On Barrios Street. ¿Cómo lo podemos ocupar en otras oraciones? Si yo hablo de mi casa, ahorita I can say, there is a television in my room. There is a television in my room. There are four chairs. Tengo una con there is y una con there are. There is a television, there are four chairs. Deme dos ejemplos de cosas que tenga ahí cerca. Con there is y there are. I can say there is a cup 
There are papers. There are there are there is pencils. a computer. There is a computer. There are there are there is a pencil. There are cell phones. There are pencils. There are cell phones. Good. There are pencils. There are pictures to the room. Okay. There are what? What, Brendita? There are two to the the the, <laughs> the room. Okay, two, two K. There are two K. ¿Cuál es el objeto? There are two. Um, ¿Cuál es el objeto? Cuarto? Ah, bedrooms. Bedroom. There are there are pictures on the wall. There are pictures on the wall. There are two bedrooms. There are two tables. Good. Aide, ¿cuál fue tu ejemplo? Uh, there, are two books. there are two books. Very good. Roxana, ¿cuál es tu ejemplo? There is a speaker. There is a speaker. Good. ¿Con there is or there are? I can say there is a toy right here. There is a toy. There are, there are five chairs. There are there five is chairs. There, there is are an many eraser. shoes. There are many <laughs> shoes, right? There is... Refurbished. There is a refrigerator. There is a masking tape. There are, there are many t-shirts. Many t-shirts. Yeah. Miren este, 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 esta cinta es mágica. Miren. El, Ahí el, no el, la sí. ven. Aquí tampoco. <laughs> Tada! Because it's green, right? There is a masking tape roll. There is an eraser. There is a book I have here. There is a book. There is a racket. There are two books. There is a racket. Good. There is a mosquito tram. Uh -huh. What else? Muestrenme cosas que tengan ahí. A ver si son plurales o singulares. There is a mouse. There is a mouse. There is a pool. There is a pencil. Oh. There is a pencil. There are pens, right? There are keys. What there else? Are, uh, there is there a is hand screen book. bottle. There is a there book. book. There is another there book. Is, there is there a is notebook. A there, there is, is a, a bottle watch. of water. There is a watch. Okay, Selena, there is a teddy bear behind you. There okay. is a teddy bear. A teddy bear, teddy bear. Teddy bear. So there is, is for only one thing. There are, is for plurals. In this one, if you say uh, some, a lot of, significa un montón, que hay muchos. Some, algunos. Algunos. Y no, no hay. No hay, any, ninguno. So in this one. We have here, marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Marketing presentation is singular or plural? Singular. 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 So what do we need to use here? There is a marketing. There is a very good. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Very good. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Business workshops. So they are. They are. They are. They are, they are some. There are. Um, there are some, there are some business workshops down the street. There Recruitment centers, plural, no. There are no. There are, there are, there are, there are no. no. Okay. There are no recruitment centers. A store, no. There is no. No, there is no. There is, no, there is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second <laughs> Avenue. Banks. There are. 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 There
many, right? There are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. Aranza building. There is. There is. There is Aranza building around the corner. I can say there is an. And around the building, around the corner. Um, so, um, is it clear the use of there is and there are? Nos queda claro donde no. ocupamos there is y donde ocupamos there are? Yes. Yes, teacher, um, not teacher? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's clear, right? Here we have a couple of examples. There is and there are. And this is a little introduction for the final topic that we are going to have, okay? Nuestro tema final, que es para el día de mañana, vamos a ocupar este, okay? Esta es práctica y esta también es práctica. Las últimas tres páginas son de práctica. The final topic that we are going to study tomorrow is adjectives, okay? This is going to be your final topic for the module, adjectives. We are going to have positive adjectives and negative adjectives, right? So if you can do a little investigation on this one, we are going to use it tomorrow. What are positive adjectives and what are negative adjectives? Or in general, what are the adjectives for? The adjectives describe something, okay? Los adjetivos nos ayudan a describir algo. Si aquí estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de there are comfortable rooms, ¿cuál es el adjetivo en este caso? Comfortable. Comfortable rooms. Rooms es el noun del que estamos hablando. Pero ¿cómo es este noun? It's comfortable. comfortable. There is a narrow reception area. Estamos hablando de la reception area. ¿Y cómo es la reception area? Narrow. 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 Es estrecha, chiquita, right? So we are going to use this one tomorrow in class. But today I am want I wanted to make sure, and as I told you before, como les dije en el día, les quería trabajar un poquito de los plurales. So I have here. Let me see. Just give me a second. Okay, here, here we are. Okay. So, give me just one second. Bye-bye. Oh, no, no bye-bye yet. Okay, let me share this one. Como los que les mandé en los ejemplos, ¿pudieron ver los ejemplos que les mandé a su, a su WhatsApp en la mañana? Yes, teacher. Yes. So here we have, right, different things. We have different objects that in many of the cases can be singular, okay? If you have singular things, for example, a notebook, a pencil, a camera, a watch, you use words like a or an, right? Cuando tenemos cosas singulares a book, a frog, an apple, an orange. We studied this topic at the very beginning of the unit, right? ¿Se acuerdan? Allá al principio estudiamos este tema de a in an. This is for singular things, okay? When we have singular nouns, for example, an apple, an orange, an umbrella, a dictionary, a pen, right? We have only one thing. But for plurals, we cannot say a or an, because it would be illogical. Imagine if you are talking about oranges. You say, you cannot say an oranges because that is not correct. So you say an orange, oranges. Orange. Orange. And there you have the examples. I wanted to jump into the plural forms. Into the plural forms, we add S to the noun. So we have daughter, daughters, boy, boys rock rocks arm uh, arms uh, rule rules quiz quizzes eyelash eyelashes 
right? You have uh, tattoo, tattoos, zoo, zoos, bamboo, bamboos. These are with the different rules. Aquí van las reglas. Algunos solo se les agrega S. Cuando terminan en S, SH, CH, X o Z, se les agrega ES. Cuando terminan en vocal O, vocal y letra O, just only add the S. Right, and we have all the rules like this ones that it says that if we have a consonant and O, you add ES. For example, say tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes, right? We have the vowel plus Y, toy, you say the S, toy, toys, monkey, monkeys, birthday, birthdays, right? You have to add the S, okay? Ahí le agregaríamos la S a monkeys, por ejemplo. In this one, when you have the consonant N Y, you have city. Tenemos una consonante y la, y la Y. Le cambiamos por I E S. City, cities. Baby, babies. Party, parties. Sky, skies. So, these are the rules. Ahí se las envié en una de las imágenes. En una de las imágenes iban las reglas de los plurales. And here we have the ones that finish in F or F-E. Si el nombre en singular termina con F o F-E, se cambia a V-E-S. Calf, calves. Calf, calves. Wife, wives. Wolf, wolves. Okay. So if the noun finishes in F, you change that to be ef. Irregular nouns. ¿Cuáles es esto? Estos son irregulares. Estos tienen su forma específica. Person. No decimos persons. Decimos people. Mouse. No decimos mouses. Decimos mice. Tooth. You don't say tooths. You say teeth. Feet. Uno de sus piecitos. Nada más. Right foot. De, los dos son feet. Child, un niño nada más. Children, plural. Y no decimos childrens, porque ahí sería totalmente incorrecto. Child, children. Cactus, cactus is the plural, the singular form. And the plural is cacti. Cacti. Appendix, appendices. Ox, que es el toro, right? Ox. En plural, oxen, este es uno solo, este es corran, ok. Ox, oxen, cliff, cliffs, ok. And here, we have the ones that do not change. Estos nunca cambian. Es igual en singular o en plural. You say sheep, una oveja. Sheep, many ovejas. You can say like, I have one sheep, I have many sheep. Serious, serious is the same species. Deer, aquí me equivoqué. Era con D, no era con S. Deer, right? Deer, deer. Okay. And in this one, okay, it's omit this one. Say shrimp, shrimp, or shrimps. Fish, fish, or fishes. Fishes. Se escribe con ES cuando son diferentes tipos de peces. Okay? Mm. El plural de pez, si tiene una tilapia y tiene mil tilapias, van a ser fish, fish. Pero si tiene tilapia, boca colorada, tiburón, no sé qué. Those are yes. fishes. Mm. Okay? Quail, codorniz, right? In quails. This, it has the two options. Quail, quails. Okay? So here we have a short example. I know in the next module, you are going to give the plurals a little bit more work. How would you translate these ones into plurals? How would you transform them into plurals? ¿Cómo los haríamos plurales? Agregándole a share S. Ha. So in this one, it will be chairs. Okay. Chairs. Let me make it smaller. Chairs. Boy. Boys. 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 Voices. No, porque tenemos 
vocal y griega. Entonces ahí solo ponemos S. Baby. 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 Can you spell it for me, please? B. A. B. 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 I. E. S. Right. I. E. S. Babies. What about person? People. 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 Very good. You have people. Apple. An apple. 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 Apples. Good. Camera. Camera. Cameras. Cameras. Right. Camera. Bus. Buses. Buses. B U S E S. Buses. 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 Termina en S y se agrega e S. Sheep. Keep. Keep. It doesn't change, right? Loose. This is good because you I didn't I didn't add it to you. Loose es un piojito. Un piojito. Pero muchos piojitos son lies. Aquí no se preocupe. Aquí aflíjense. Loose is only one, right? Lies, it's many, right? What is the plural of watch? Watch. 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 Termina en CH, watch. le agregamos AS, right? Watches. What is, the, what is the plural of men? Men. 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 Very good. Men. This is an irregular form, right? Girl? Girls. 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 Diary? Diaries. 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 Name? Name. Names. What is the plural of woman? Woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is the plural of men? Okay, the plural of man? Men. What is the plural of woman? Woman. Woman. Women. 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 Taxi? Taxis or taxis? Taxis. Taxis. And leaf, termina en F. Cambiamos a V E S. Una hoja, muchas hojas. Right? Leaves. So there you have Leaf. examples of how to transform these sentences, these words into plurals. What about these ones that I am going to show you right here? Let me erase all these ones. Can you write it on your notebook, the plural form of the pictures? What is the plural form of these pictures? Teacher, vamos a ponerlo. The ones of the pictures, the pictures in plural. So the first one you have address, termina en doble S. ¿Qué pasa cuando el nombre termina en doble S? Se le agrega S. Addresses. Addresses.
finish. So address, what is the plural of address? Addresses. Addresses, right, with ES. Briefcase. Briefcase. Okay. ¿Qué le agregamos? S. Only S, right, briefcases. Briefcases. Clock. Clock. Clocks. Clocks. Key. Key. Keys. 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 Keys, right? The other one is short, you say kiss. This is keys. The keys. Okay? And you say, give me the keys. Sabe que le van a pasar las llaves. But if you say, give me a kiss, no le van a pasar las llaves. Para otra cosa. And you say, like, bueno. And they're ready to give you a kiss. Right? If you say, give me a kiss, it's like a kiss, Mwah, right? Give me the keys, it's the keys, right? I, I don't have keys right now, but for the llaves, right? Give me the keys. Se refiere a las llaves, the keys. What about newspaper? Newspaper. Newspapers. Purse? Purses. Purses, right? Is that? Stamps. 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 Television? Television. Television. Televisions. Ticket? Tickets. Ticket. Ticket. Tickets. Tickets. Right? So that is the form of plurals of these objects, right? I think I have another example here. And for this one, we have, what are these? These, they are keys, right? What's this? And you have, it's it a CD player. CD player. ¿Qué pregunta sería para esta? Que tengo dos objetos. What are these? What are these, right? What are these? They are? They are. They are, they are backpacks. They are backpacks. Backpacks. They are backpacks. ¿Qué pregunta sería para esta? What is what are these? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It is. It is a, a clock. A watch. A watch. <laughs> este es un watch. Clock es el que está en la pared, right? Yes. What about this one? What, what, is, what is this? What is this? It is a cell it is phone. It is a cell phone. It is a cell phone. And para los lentes, so you say, what oh, are? Yeah. What are these? What, what are these? Porque es plural, porque son los dos lentes, right? What are these? And you say, they are? They are, they are sun sunglasses. Glasses. They are sunglasses. We are going to finish our class by showing an object. Show me one object. What is this? It is? Eraser. Why? It is an eraser. It is an eraser. It is an eraser. What's this? What's this? It is? It is a cup of coffee. A cup of a cup for coffee. And what are these? What are these? Have fun. What are these? Yeah. It is a uh, they are, they are glasses. glasses, glasses. Lo que nunca se pone la teacher y se tendría que poner todos los días. They are glasses, right? Show me one object. Uh -huh. Show me one object and you can go. Ask me the question. What is this or what are these? Uh-huh. 
What is he? It's a notebook. You can go. <laughs> bye bye. Or you can tell me these are. Y me dices el nombre. Or it is a phone, right? It is a cell phone. It is what? Give me a sentence and you can go. Pueden usar una oración con. Uh -huh. what is it? it is what, Edwin? It is a. It is a. It is a pulsera. A bracelet. It is a bracelet. bracelet. You can go. Uh -huh. Good night. Good, Good night. Morning. Show me an object. This, I don't know. They are what? Glasses. They are pencils. They are notebooks. Show me one and you can go. Muéstrame uno y se pueden ir. They are what, Carolina? They are. There is. What is the name of that, Carolina? They are. <laughs> Tienes el micrófono apagado, nunca te vas a ir. Griselda, what was your object? It is a notebook. It is a notebook. Bye bye. Uh -huh. What else? What it's else? What cup. else? It's, it's a, cup. a cup. Okay, Evelyn, it's a cup. Bye bye. America. There is. There is, there is a, a phone. There is a phone. Bye bye, America. Isabel. There is a pencil. There is a pencil. No, that's no. a pen. Ese es un lapicero. Pen. That's pen. Uh -huh. Carolina. There is a book. There is a, there is a book. Good. Uh -huh. They are. There is a racket. Keys. There is a racket. Brendita. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Hi there. There is a cup. There is a cup. You can go. Very good. Hi there. There are books. There are books. Good, very good. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Brenda Martinez. There is a pencil. There is a pencil. Oh, ah, Norma. Norma. There are a pencil. There are a plural. A pencil. There are a pencils. No, pencil. there are pencils. Two pencils. Right? There are two pencils. Very good. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh -huh. <laughs> A ver, Astrid, show me one. It is a pin. It is a pin. Very good. Very good. You can go. Odalis. There is a book. There is a book. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Roxana. There is a book. There is a book. Bye bye. Okay. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Carolina. They are keys. You say they are keys. They are keys. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. And I will see you tomorrow for another class. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye bye. The teacher is leaving. There is a teacher leaving. <laughs> bye.